in this nitty gritty basics let's play live stream we're going to be playing american mahjong using the national mahjong league card and we're going to be playing at i love maj one of the reasons why i recommend playing at i love maj is because they have an excellent exercise room and also they have intelligent robots with three levels of intelligence incidentally they just released a new skill builder and we'll take a look at that when we're there I want to say thank you so much for watching my videos and channel members. Thank you very much for becoming channel members to help support Maj Life. I appreciate your support. Shout out to D, our newest member. I also want to say thank you to our moderators who help moderate the chat. Today's format is nitty gritty, which means we're not going to do any socializing. We're just going to dig in to the topic, which is widespread tips. Widespread tips, and I'll explain, explain what widespread means when we get into that very short presentation. And then we'll move on to I Love Maj. I'll show you that new exercise, which I haven't seen myself. I've only heard about it. And then we'll do gameplay with commentary. Oh, thank you, Ryan. Hi, Barb. Hi, Wes. All right, I'm going to get my slideshow ready. And we'll get started. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, Kathleen. Your dog hears it. Biscuit. Hi, Biscuit. All right, here we go. Widespread tips. The idea with widespread tips, this whole reason for this presentation is because sometimes when you get your dealt hand, you have no multiples. And as we know, American Mahjong is a game of multiples. So if you have Pair, Pong, Kong, you want to leverage that, target it, gather tiles to support it, because eventually you're going to need multiples. Every hand on the card uses multiples. So what happens when you have no multiples, when you get your dealt hand? And I'm pretty sure that we're going to have that situation when we play at I Love Maj. So the idea here is to maximize your potential to develop multiples and then further develop your hand so you want to first look at your dealt tiles and identify a predominant pattern so for example we could look at these tiles there's no multiples but we have a lot of three six nine that would use most of our tiles there are some there is some potential here for consecutive run though using two, three, four, five, but more of the tiles are using three, six, nine. One of the things you can do to confirm the best category for your tiles is to look at like numbers, because that's going to show you repeats, which would indicate more tiles. So for example, here you can see we have like numbers with threes, we have all three threes. We have like numbers with sixes and like numbers with nines. Three, six, nine. That tells you what category to play just based on like numbers. So, and also three, six, nine is has a lot of like numbers anyway. And we'll look at some examples in other categories as well. So here's one, for example, where we have a predominant pattern of five four five six seven five six seven of some kind but if you look at the like numbers we have fives and uh let's see uh, sixes like numbers with sixes so whatever we play should use the sixes so we could do four five six seven but we could also maybe even do three six nine with these particular tiles so maybe keep the nine and discard the west the one ban and even the white dragon or the two a one two and one suit that would be a, a risky pass so i think what i would do probably would be to keep the nine and then pass the white dragon 
And that way we can maybe play consecutive run five through seven of some kind or play maybe three, six, nine if it happens to come in since we have like numbers with sixes. The other thing that you could consider is actually playing like numbers because we have a flower, a, a um, dragon. We could maybe play the second hand down, but we have no six crack. So I would let that white dragon go and focus on what we do have, which is five, six, seven of some kind or three, six, nine. All right, let's look at another example here. Let's see here. This just edifies what I just said, like numbers with sixes right there. Okay, now here's another example where we have a consecutive run of one through five. If you look at these tiles, though, we have like numbers with fours, like numbers with threes, fours, threes and fours. So three, four, like numbers, that points to consecutive run. So I would play like numbers one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. So that's why you see one through five selected here, because we're going to optimize our potential to develop a hand in that category. So here are the threes and the fours marked out. We have two threes and three fours in here. Three, four consecutive tiles, therefore consecutive run would be the category to play. Here's another example where we have a lot of two, four. We could maybe play evens, but we have no eight. So with twos and fours plus a white dragon, that speaks to the year category. So we could maybe play a year hand or like numbers with twos or fours. So we're going to go ahead and play at I Love Maj, and hopefully we'll have lots of examples to demonstrate these widespread tips. So I'm going to go over to, uh, does anyone have any questions about that? We're going to go into the exercise room and I'll demonstrate. So if you have any questions, feel free to hold them and then bring them up as we go. Or you can put them in caps in chat. And incidentally, chat should be open up to everybody subscribed, by the way. Let me just double check really quick because it's a new a new setting. Yeah. As long as you're a subscriber for 10 minutes, you can chat. All right. So I'm going to present my screen at I Love Maj. And we're going to look at what they're calling heavenly hands. Basically, when you they're going to give you a dealt hand that's actually a winning combo. So let's just take a quick look at it so that I can show it to you. Incidentally, I am a let's see, an affiliate partner there. So if you try it out, you'll get an extra week free in your trial. And also, if you decide to subscribe, I will get a small commission, for which I'm very thankful. All right, let's do the exercise. So here we go. We're, it's it's going to test our knowledge of the card. And it looks like we cannot sort, so we just have to visualize it ourselves. So I would just arrange these. Uh, usually when I arrange my tiles, I put winds and dragons to the left, and then I put number tiles in numerical order by suit. And that usually gives me the lay of the land. And in this case, I immediately see that we could play five, seven, seven, nine, and this would be, hold on a second. That's last year's card. Wait a minute. Five, seven, dragon, seven, nine. Isn't that last year's hand? Five, seven, seven, nine. Change card. Five, seven, nine, dragon. Oh, I have it in the wrong. Here we go. Seven, nine, dragon. There we go. I was thinking of five, seven paired with pungs of sevens. So now here it is based on the 2024 card. So pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. Five, seven, seven, nine, dragon. So you have to arrange the tiles and then figure out which hand it is on the card. And then and then you validate it. So it wants you to arrange it based on the order on the card, and then you validate. And we're correct. And then you do the next hand. And we won't go into that. You, you can try it out. I, I highly recommend it. They have some really great exercises, which we're gonna we're gonna look at right now. We're gonna go into Charleston practice. 
odd number six, one, two, three, four, four. Yeah, odd number six. Thank you, Kathleen. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go into Charleston practice, and we're going to hopefully get some widespread and demonstrate how to do this. So we have a pair in there. I'm going to, let's see here. I, I guess we'll just go ahead and do a couple of these and hope that at least once we'll have a widespread tip. But in this case, we don't have a widespread. We have a multiple. So widespread means that you have no multiples. So in this case, that doesn't really apply. But you can use the same logic. With the rest of our tiles, we have a one BAM. So we want to use whatever we have remaining. And if we were to look at the multiples in here, we would have fours for the multiple and sixes. We could maybe play a two, four, six, eight hand in here, for example, but we have a pair of ones. I prefer to leverage the multiple. So I would keep the three, the five, and the two and play maybe one through five. So I would keep the fours. And this way we could play odds, little odds, maybe even keep that dragon. And we're left with five discards to help us pass. So I would not focus on two, four, six, eight. I instead would leverage the pair and start there. Let's just see what happens. We could even do kind of a chain reaction here and compare results. So here we're targeting the multiple. In the next one, we'll target the predominant pattern, which is evens. So here we have a two. So now we have one through five. And we have another pair with the green dragon. So we could pass the seven and the six. So at this point, we have to let something go. We have one through five with the dragon. Maybe we could play, let's say, the one, two, three, fifth hand down, one through four. So maybe we can let the two dot go in this case. We have another dragon. We need a Kong if we play that fifth hand down. Here's a four, five, six. I think I would just let those go and focus on BAMs. We have a six, but we're not going to go all the way from one to six. So I would probably keep going past the four, the, uh, the west, and the six. Focus on one through five, one through four dragon probably. Or if we get a flower, we could do one, three, five dragon, third hand down under eye no keepers, so we can pass one of each suit. No keepers again. I would not pass two, the same suit if at all possible. So we can do a 4.8 crack there. Here's another multiple. And we have three tiles we can pass. We probably don't really need that five because we have that pung of green dragons. All right, so in this case, we would have a hand with no gaps, uh, fifth hand down. We need pair, pair, one, two, pung, pung, three, four, kong. This hand is actually set. We could pung the three, the four, and oops, and we could even kong the dragon. All we need in here is a two bam. That's our only vulnerability. So we have four discards and a hand with no gaps. So this, I would say, would be we'd be a contender for this game with four discards. We're the dealer, so we discard one and end up with three after discarding that extra tile. So I'd say we're probably even a front runner on this one because we do have an extra discard since we're east. So let's replay, and instead we're going to pretend like we have a widespread, okay? We're gonna pretend like this one BAM is not a pair. We're gonna break it up and we're gonna focus on evens because we have like numbers with fours and sixes. Those are even tiles. So let's see what happens with evens. We got a two and a four, those are evens, so that's good. We'll let the odds go here. How about one five west instead of this green dragon? The dragon hand in evens this year is corresponding. We might be able to use that if we get an eight bam third hand down. 
Okay, so there's a two and we still have tiles we can pass. Here's a six and a, uh, a two. Okay, so now look at all the two, four, six, eight we have. You might think, well, let's not do the next Charleston. Well, we don't even know what hand we're playing. So I would not do that. I would instead pick a hand or at least whittle down the options so we can keep going. So we're going to keep going. The five we know we don't need. Without any other dragons, that dragon is really not helpful. I would let it go. And then we need one more tile to pass. We have an eight dot. That's our only eight. Our two, four here. Maybe we could play the second hand down. Or we could maybe play, <coughs> excuse me, let's see here. Let's see, six, eight, six, four, six, two, four, four. We could maybe play um, the multiplication, but we have no flowers. So I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't try to play a flower hand. So I think really the best option for us is the second hand down. Since we have a two dot pair, we can let probably this two crack go. Okay, we got all odds, so those can go. We've got even or another set of odds, but I would not pass like numbers. So now we have to let something go. You know what? This this eight dot needs really to be an eight crack, not an eight dot, because we have a two four. We need mixed suits, but we can use the joker if we have two four in dots. We have two four two or four six in bands then we need an eight crack kong i would still keep as many evens as possible and let one of these tiles go let's see two six four six eight two three eight i would let the eight go because any of these other tiles with a three and a five are going to be risky so what we really want in here, oh, there's a multiple now with the three. We're going to pass. Let's see. I think we can do three. We are playing a gap hand at the moment. We'll keep the three for joker bait. So let's do two five. Okay, so we did get a keeper in there. We have a pair we don't need. So here's the result. We're playing a gap hand. Two, four, six, eight. We have no eight crack. We need that third or second hand down under evens. Because we have no flowers, we were uh, limited with what we could do. So we have four discards plus joker bait right here. So two, four, six in cracks with a west. Those are clear discards because what we need in here is an eight crack. And then we have a pair we don't need, joker bait. With all these discards, we're an underdog. So the comparison is we targeted the multiple in the first hand, the first go round or iteration, and we were a front runner. We had only three discards. This one, we leveraged the predominant pattern, but we have had only one eight and eights didn't come through. So it was a bit of a challenge and it shows because here you can see how many more discards we have than the first iteration so let's do this again with new tiles and see if we can get another widespread okay no we have two we have two multiples four crack nine crack so four crack nine crack we have to decide because there's no way we can use both of them so you would use the one that uses most of your tiles so we could do three, four, five of some kind. Let's just pull the tiles to the side. Here's three, bam, three, four, crack using the multiple. Then a four, five. We have two, two fours, like numbers with fours. Here's like numbers with nine. So it's kind of an e either or. We have a north and an east. I'd probably keep those and stop there and maybe pass, for example, those three, break up the nine, focus on the four. So if we did that, we would have six, eight keepers. So let's just pull these back and 
see what we would do instead with the bigger numbers, the nine and the eight. So three, four, five of some kind versus nine, eight, eight, nine of some kind, there's two, there's fewer tiles to work with. So that was the right choice. So you could do kind of a process right there to identify which category would use or which, which pattern would use most of your tiles. Because in this case, we can't use both multiples. So you pick one that uses most of your tiles. And in this case, it's the four. Okay, so we got a three and we're just gonna hold every tile we can. I would break up the nine and now we have to make a choice because we have all three, four, five, and then wins. I'd probably let the wins go at this point and focus on three, four, five of some kind. We don't even need to look at the card. We just, we're gathering. Here's a two. So now we have two, three, four. Here's a north nine green that can go. We still don't have to pick a hand. We're just gathering tiles until we can't, or, or until we have a, a risky pass which is about right now. Kudos, Barb. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Okay, so now we're definitely gonna keep going. We need to either pass risky, a little bit risky. Maybe we pass the eight. That's a little bit risky. It's not really too bad. I would do that. Okay, now there's a two. And we have tiles we can pass. It looks like nobody wants nines. And we have another potential keeper here. We have three tiles to pass. We still haven't picked a hand. We really don't need to pick a hand, not yet. We have two clear discards. This one dot, even though we have lots of one through five, that one dot is isolated really from the three. I'd probably let that one dot go so we can pass fully. And we got a four. Okay, so now the result, we have two discards, otherwise all two through five. So we don't know maybe what, we, what hand we're playing, and that's okay. We have a lot to work with, including two pair, the fours. So I think that's a fantastic Charleston. If we had to pick a hand, I think I would pick the, let's see here, maybe the, the double run. Let's see, three, four, five, two, three, four, or three, four, five, fourth hand down, double run. We have no flowers. We have two pungs of fours. That's the only one that you, no, 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 the concealed hand. We could do, let's see, two, three, no, we have multiples of four. So we would need to do three, four, three, four, five. If we could do get a five crack, or I'm sorry, a five bam, we could maybe play the concealed hand. But that's a if. That's a big if because that's a pair. So I would focus on probably the fourth hand down under consecutive run if I had to pick a hand. Three, four, five. So that means we would have one, two, three, four, five, six discards. We would be an underdog. However, we would have two multiples. We could use this joker maybe as the five crack, let's say. Okay, let's do another one. We'll do one more and then we'll play. So here we don't have a widespread again. We have a pair of threes. So that's where you start. In my opinion, targeting multiples totally simplifies the decision making when you get your first your dealt hand. Target multiples. If you don't have multiples, target the predominant pattern. If a multiple forms during the Charleston, reassess completely, target the multiple, and then gather supporting tiles until you see a hand develop. I, I just think it really simplifies the whole decision-making process. So we have three, four, five. I would keep the two, three. When, when I'm playing a consecutive hand, I keep four or five numbers around the multiple. In this case, it would be three, four, five, two, three, four, five, four numbers around the three. If we get a one, we could maybe do one, two, three, four, but we have a five right now and no one. So I'm focused on two, three, four, five of some kind. Now in, in consecutive run, there is an offsuit dragon hand. 
second one down. So I would keep that white dragon too. And that leaves us with like numbers with sevens that I would break up because we're focused on two, three, four, five, which uses more tiles. Okay, no keepers. We can just pass. Now, we did pick up a pair of west, but without an east, that west is useless. I would rather maximize my potential to develop two, three, four, five, and not worry about that pair without an east. Okay, so here's a five. We did get a one. So now it almost looks like we could do a little odd hand. We have a pair of eight bams, but the pair of eight eights does not go with the rest of our tiles. So I would break it up. And then we have to let something go. We have three, four, five, one, three, five, and a two, a two crack. We do have a hand in here with no gaps. We have a couple actually. Third hand down, we could do one suit, three, four, five with the flower, or one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, mix suit cons, same hand in mix suits. Either way, we didn't use this five dot. We have a three, four, five already there. I think I would let the five dot go. Okay, we have a two crack now, another multiple. So whatever we play, we're going to use the two and the three. And we actually have three tiles to pass right here. So we can let that go. You might think, why not play a two, four, six, eight hand? We could do that because we have a two crack. We have a four, a six, and an eight. But we'd have to throw away a pair of threes. I would rather choose something that uses both multiples, two, three. So we play consecutive run. Okay, we got sevens. And because I don't like passing like numbers, I think it's almost as risky as passing a pair. We have to let something go. I think this, let's see, one, two, three, mix suit Kongs. I think the three dot can go. We're looking at probably the second hand down uh, or the third hand down it, with two options. And let's see, no keepers. I'd probably let the seven nine go and keep that five since it's in our range. Oh, we got a one. So now we have one, two, three, four, and we have tiles we can pass. And I would pass fully. I'd let that five go. We could do one, two, three, four, second hand from the bottom in two suits. One, two, crack, three, four, bam. We got a one, bam. So there's one, three, five dragon in there now, third hand down. So in this case, we have two discards and we're in between consecutive run and little odds. So I wouldn't pick a hand. I would continue to gather until we get rid of these discards. I would say whatever we do here, we would probably be an underdog because we do have a lot of discards but we have several hands we could play here. Second hand down under consecutive run, third hand down two ways, or the third hand down under odds. And that would use, let's see. Oh, and, and then there's the fifth hand down under consecutive run also, but we have a gap. So really this dragon here, the green dragon could probably go. So we have three discards with options and I would just keep all these tiles and see, oh, I know, we wanted that for the odd hand. So yeah, two discards. So we'd be an underdog on this one. Let's let's go ahead and play the game and we'll see how it goes with bots, robots. Oh my gosh, I've been sitting here this whole time. We need to do a full screen. I'm sorry, there we go. Let's see, is that one or this one? It's not that much bigger. Okay. All right. We're going to play with intermediate robots here. Okay. We're, let's see here. We're playing with the 2024 card and we're going to do bot level two. Here we go. We're playing a game. We have a multiple in here, the five crack. So train your eye to target the multiple and then start there. Let that be the starting point. 
You don't have to start with a blank canvas. You've got a multiple right there. That's what we're going to create from. Consider yourself an artist. You're going to create a beautiful work of art. So five crack pair. With a five crack pair, we do have eights, but no six. So I would keep probably the fives and the dragons. Maybe we could play like numbers. I think I would also keep the three in case we get a one and maybe even the two. And I think I would just start there. We have no other wins, so I think I would let those go. Focus on number tiles. So there's a three and here's a three. So it looks like little odds, but we have no one. Here's three tiles to pass, seven, eight, nine in mixed suits. It's a little bit risky. We could maybe mitigate that and let the two go. Okay, we got a one. So there's a one, three, five. Here's a five dot. Now we have two multiples with fives. Here's another development, a three, a three, four, three, four and bams. You know what we could maybe play? is that third hand from the bottom, the chow hand, a quint of fives with a chow, one, two, three, three in a sequence, that's a chow, concealed chow, you can't claim a discard for it, but we could do two, three, four with pungs of fives. Let's let the eight go. And then we have a three, five, a one, three, five, one, three, three, five, we have all the threes. I think I would let the one go and then probably one of the dragons. Let that white dragon go next. Let's see here, one, three, five. I was kind of thinking about maybe we could keep the dragon, the green dragon and let that white dragon go. We do have a slight potential for that second hand from the bottom, but we'd have to throw away a pair of fives. Okay, now we have a two, three. We did get another five. We have tiles we can pass. Let's keep going. Oh, someone stopped the Charleston. Okay, so we have all the fives in here. We might be able to switch back to uh, odds, or not odds, like numbers. Three, five, three, five, three, four, five. It'd be nice to get a two bam to do two, three, four, five, five. I would like to pass fully, so I think I would let go of that three and focus on like numbers. Okay, so we have two, three, four. We could still do two, three, four, five, five, maybe. I think I would let that three go and probably maybe still keep the dragon in case like numbers with fives comes in. I would say we have a, a good start at a consecutive hand. I would say we're an underdog because I don't know what hand we'd play yet. We should just wait it out and gather until we have to make a choice. I think we're probably even closer to like numbers. Okay, so we can't do anything with, here they go, the flowers. Okay, now three, four, three, four, five, two, three. It'd be really nice if we can get a two bam, because then we can do two, three, four bam with pungs of fives. We're okay there. We got a flower. Okay, now the dragon hand in like numbers does not use flowers, so we're gonna let the dragon go. Okay, let's see. We have all the fives. We're gonna just let that go. A joker. Okay, we need to make a choice. I think we should let, let's say the two dot go and then keep the fives for like numbers with fives. Or if we get a two bam, two, three, four, five, five with a quint. We are actually set on the quint um, hand. Quint of flowers, which we can call, pung the fives and be ready on a two. 
that's I kind of do this visualization visualization of the of the path that the hand could go in. And so I think to myself, okay, if if I'm set, I can act on every part of the hand. We can quint the flowers, pung the fives. That would leave us waiting for a two band single tile. A little bit risky, but we're set with that chow hand, six hand down under consecutive run. So let's go ahead and pung. We could even play this first like number hand because two of the like numbers are pungs. So we're still kind of in between here. Now that we would not do anything with because we probably are closer to the quintian. I would let it go. What we want is a two bam. We'll call, we're gonna pung. That's our tile. Oh, look. Okay, we're just gonna wait. There's two two bams there, but there are still two more. We can still switch to like numbers with fives and the Kong with the five bam. We're hoping for a two bam. To crack. Oh. We need a two bam. Nine crack. No. Keeper. We need a keeper. Oh, six. Okay, where is that 2 p.m.? Okay, east and west with two something or other Mixu Kongs. It'd be really nice to get a keeper. We're at 38 tiles remaining. We're in the end game now. Oh, we need a two bam. If someone throws a flower, I would quint. There it is. All right, we got it. Okay, we're ready on a flower. Multiple weight. There it is, Mahjong. Two, three, four, five, five. Marjan, Marjan. So two, three, four, five, five. Quinta flowers. One, two. They're playing east, west with one, two, one dot. North and south with sevens over here. Six, seven, same kind of hand. And then Pung Kong, Pung Pung Kong Kong ahead of, oh, no, no. They're trying for the second hand down under consecutive run. <clears throat> All right, here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. We have a pair of sevens with a pair of flowers. So here's six, seven, some kind of six, seven hand. With a seven, we do not need little numbers. So I would just break these out. Let's see here. One, two, four. There's a mixed suit pass. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Barb. Thank you for the kudos, everyone. Okay, here's a nine. So we're looking for big numbers. That's what we're gathering, big numbers. Let's pass one of each suit here. One, two, three. Let's see here now. Hold on. Here's a one, three. There is a mixed suit odd hand. We have no flowers. I mean, no, no jokers. We could maybe play the odd pair hand it's really not gelling very nicely though 
we have more six seven than we do odds one three five seven nine one we would need the dots here probably let's just keep that one dot <clears throat> okay here's a nine dot and a six bam okay we have two tiles to pass clearly we have six seven nine so the odds are not helpful uh, little odds we're gonna let them go what we really want are probably an eight an eight would be super nice okay now here's a matching dragon with a pung and a, a pung and a pair six seven dragon that's really not very helpful though we definitely need to keep going but we need to we need to let some things go here we have six seven in here six seven six seven gap hand concealed hand maybe or maybe we could do a six seven eight hand let's see six seven six seven we have all the sixes so i think what i would do is focus on let's see i would almost rather do six seven gap hand the concealed hand six seven if we can get an eight bam all right let's let the six bam go with the nine dot we don't want to pass one suit all right here no keepers so these can go we have six seven we don't really need the nine without an eight really well we could probably let this four go anyway okay here's an eight now six seven eight so there's the concealed hand maybe oh no no not the concealed hand maybe we could do that fourth hand down Let's see, here's six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, no gaps. Six, seven, crack, eight, nine, dot, no gaps. Let's let the nine go. Now we just have to make a choice. We have six, seven, six, seven. I think I would just pass two. I would rather try to use these flowers though. Let's see here, six, seven, crack, six, seven, with flowers. I was trying to see if there's any way we could wait. Oh, I wonder if we could get a one crack in here. We could play addition. Let's just see what happens. There it is. All right, that's what I would do. I would play addition here. Look, six, seven, one, six, seven, one with a pair of flowers. Kind of came and slapped us upside the back of the head there. Okay, let's pass. We got a keeper. Check it out. Four discards. We're a contender on this one. We can Kong only one of our blocks, but we have no gaps. So addition number one is what we're playing. Okay, we really don't need a flower. Hmm. All right, we're just going to keep going. Oh, there's our eight bams. We wanted that. Oh, here we go. Look, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven with a pair of flowers or six, seven, one addition. Okay. All right, now we have to make, I, I just would Kong because we have a couple of options and they, they all require a Kong. We can do five, six, seven, one suit Kongs or we can do six, seven, one addition. Lucky seven, one, six equals seven, which is awkward and weird. I don't know, anyway. They're, they're trying to be creative. I mean, they've been doing math hands for a long time. So anyway, they always feel a little awkward to me. Okay, that's our tile, but we're not ready. We can use jokers though. All right, we don't need the flower really. 
we could switch to let's see let's let the let's let the five crack go we could switch to like numbers with sevens and leverage these three flowers here there's a seven bam out okay i would totally do it because look now we have a pair of sevens and a seven and we could leverage the flowers let's see here we're at 79 tiles let's let the one go let's play like numbers with sevens instead maybe we can get a joker out of the six crack if that switch made anybody cringe right hashtag cringe basically i'm leveraging the pung of flowers because we can Kong that, Pung the seven, we need one more tile. For the other one, we would have needed two more, the six and the one. So I think this one was just set up a little more nicely. Okay, uh, we call, that's a Pung. <clears throat> Joker exchange, thank you. I uh, know nobody wanted the six, but we're set. We're set on this like number hand. Uh, Dragon can go. <laughs> Kathleen, would you have stuck it out with that addition hand? <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going to try to make this one. Okay, let's see north. It looks like nobody's playing wins. Oh, I thought someone was going to take that one. Okay, we need some help here. We need a keeper. Oh, we're set. We can we can pung and pung and Kong. Addition hand. Let's see. I find addition hard to do, but if I want to get a dot challenge, yep, that I agree. I haven't been marking my card. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Oh, look, okay, now we're ready on one of two tiles, the flower or the seven band, ready to win. Any like numbers, number one. There it is, Mahjong. Woohoo! We got Mahjong. Lucky seven, look, they're sevens. All right, the player to our left, two, four, six, eight. Ooh, ready, yikes. Pung, pung. They're ready on a double weight across from us. They're one away from ready to our right, your hand. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, now, oh, here we go. These multiples don't really go together again. We have a pair of ones or a pair of fours. This is kind of when your multiples don't necess necessarily go together. You just do the best you can with what you have. We'll see what comes in. Okay, so the fours got it. We're going to do like numbers with fours probably. I would say like numbers with fours and dragons. Uh, here's a red dragon now. All right, let's slow down a minute here. Here's a one dot pung and a flower. Okay, let's just take a look. We have one joker. I was thinking maybe we can try for a quint. What about if we try for the dragon quint with this one? One dot quint. Instead, and then mm, let's see, we need to pass. We have fours though. I think we're better off with fours. I really do. Okay, here's four or five now again. We have tiles we can pass. We're going, we're leveraging the most of our multiples, the fours. So we're going to break up the, 
the, let's see, four, five. Maybe we should keep that five. We could do three, four, three, four, five concealed, but we have no threes. The threes, though, we're going around. Let's let the dragon go. We don't have a four dot. Okay, now here's a five dot and a five crack. Oops. Okay, here's a nine. We don't need the dragon anymore, and we can let the one go. I'm hoping we'll get the threes back, like right there. Okay, here's a five. Here's three, four, four, five. That doesn't really work. So what we really need in here is a three crack, but we can use the joker for that. So three, four, bam, three, four, crack, five dot pair. Concealed, consecutive run, concealed. So let's let the five crack go. Oh, that's interesting. We got the five crack, but I would rather pass fully. We need to see if we can get a three crack because we've got a gap right now. All right, we have four hand or five discards in a hand with no gap or with a gap. We're playing a gap hand, but that's okay because it's a hand of slight resistance and we have our pair, so we're okay. We can use jokers. All right, so let's let them go. Let's see, four, five, six, two, three, four. Maybe we can keep this for a while. Three, four, two, three, four. All right, here we go. Let's see here, four, four, five. I would keep that flower for a little while. If we get a four dot, I would think I'd rather switch to numbers with fours. Okay, now here's a west. No winds are out yet. Somebody's playing winds. Oh, that's our tile. Okay, six bam with the joker there. Okay, now let's let the eight go. All right, three, four, three, four. I think I would just, oh my goodness, my nose is itchy today. I think we have out, um, pollen going on here in Georgia. Yikes. Okay, three, four, three, four, five. This five crack is extra. We have four discards and we're at 83 tiles. So technically we're still in the begin game. I think we could bump up to contender right now. Even though we have a gap, we have jokers, but we are concealed. We're concealed. Okay, so they have sixes punged. Sixes punged like that, the only thing they could be doing, I believe, is that chow hand. So they need four, three, four, five. They could three, four, five in dots. We've got our pair right here. And now they could maybe be playing, um, what you call it, three, six, nine. pair of sevens that we might be able to use for joker bait you know what i just realized we could play three four five mix suit kongs and call that and kong switch to the third hand down on the right since we have a player across from us with two exposures if we're going to overtake them, we need to expedite our hand. So we're going to call and Kong. We're going to switch to that mix suit consecutive Kongs. Five dots. So this becomes Joker bait. And we'll use that Joker for the four. We need help with our three. We've got two pair we don't need. Flower. That's very nice. Okay, now let's hold on to the four. See if we can get a joker out of the four. So we're doing three, four, five, mix suit Kong's third hand down on the right. We switched from the concealed hand 
because we had a gap, no three crack. There it is, we'll call. So we have our pair. We just need help with the three band. Oh, we got a three band. Awesome. Okay, now there's three jokers up for grabs here. Oh, East. Someone is playing wins. Well, there we know. We know now. Oh, four. We, <laughs> we don't need that. All right. Six band. Let's see. We have a four crack, five dot, six band up for grabs. These jokers here. Joker. All right. We're ready to win on a multiple weight. The three band. Ready to win. Oh, we don't need a flower. Thankfully, nobody wanted it. I hope now if they're playing three, six, nine, either with the like numbers, like number pungs, they do not need a three band. So we're we should be okay, but we don't know what the player on our right is doing. And we don't know what the player on our left is doing. They have only one exposure. Eight, bam, that's zero. Oh, there it is. Mahjong. Woohoo! We got Mahjong. Woohoo! Three, four, five, mix new Kong, third hand down on the right. That's a carryover hand from last year. And on our left, east and west with two, three. So they were kind of in our wheelhouse, but they, we didn't, we needed the three bam, not a three dot. On the right, same hand. Again, two games in a row. They're playing the same thing. That's weird. And then they were playing the dragon hand, uh, Kathleen. All right, thank you for the kudos. Let's play again. Okay, we still don't have a widespread. We have a pair of ones. So that's where we start. So one crack pair. Our predominant pattern is big odds. So let's hold <clears throat> odds. Let's just see what comes in here. Okay, let's see. We have one, five, seven, nine of some kind here. Let's let that, oop, let's see, one, five, seven, nine. Huh, let's see here. We really don't need these wins, not with odds like this. Although if we get north and south, we could maybe play a like number hand with news concealed. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. All right, let's let the dragon go. That's a little bit risky passing your tiles like that. Okay, we got another multiple in here, the nine. Here's a one. Okay, we have one, five, seven, nine. A five, bam, one, seven in dots. Five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine, big odds. One crack, no three. We have no three, that's a pair gap. Let's see here. The odd pair hand, one, three, five, five, seven, nine. All right, let's let the seven dot go. Like numbers with news. Oh, I was thinking of the news concealed wind hand. But yeah, I see third hand down under like numbers is open. We have ones and nines. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's five. Oh my gosh, we have a gap hand going here. I think we should let the one dot go. We we need a three. Okay, here's one. Let's see here. Here's a nine with a four and a five. Really, this one can go. It would be nice to get either a six crack or a three crack. 
We're in between odds and five through nine. Okay, we have tiles we can pass. So let's just let these go. We got a four. That's really not very helpful at all at the moment. We need a six crack really to do five through nine. We got it, five through nine right there. Okay, the one crack can be joker bait and we can pass three. All right, we've got really four discards with joker bait, the one crack. We have five through nine, no gaps. We need to pair the six, eight, and Kong the seven. First hand on the right. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Well, that, all right, dragon. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, dragon. Third hand down on the right. Third hand down on the right. Pair, pung, kong, pung. Pair, pair, pung, kong, pung, pung. That is a trip hand. <laughs> it's just kind of wonky, really. Okay, let's just see what happens. Oh, we got the three. I think that's better than five through nine because we have a pair of ones. One, three, five, seven, nine. We still have weakness with the three and the seven, which need to be the pairs. One, three, five, seven, nine. Pair. Let's see. Pung, pair, kong, pair, pung. Pung, pair, kong, pair, pung. That's the one that I was calling a castle. It looks like a castle like a castle to me okay now here we would need to pung i think we should let it go because we need at least one of these pairs before we commit i think we need to let it go we need to have a pair in here first if another one crack goes down no. we might be call it no we can let one of them go what we want in no, here no. is either a three crack no. or a seven crack. Seven. Nine crack. Oh, same thing. Oh my gosh, we got the red dragon. Okay, five, seven, nine dragon. I think I might switch to five, seven, nine dragon here. We have all keepers. We're in between really... Probably, let's see, hold on. Five, six, seven, eight, dragon. Six, seven, eight, nine, dragon. Ignore. It's a it's a W. What's a W? Oh, here we go. This is this is where we have to make a choice now. I think oh we're not ready for the dragon hand on that. One three. We could do one three five though and let it go. I would let it go. It's just too risky. Okay, now here, one three five dragon. That I think we could call and play one three five dragon right here. Uh and because the nines are out. We could pung that. And we have our pair. All we need in here is a flower. This is the third hand down on the left. So I would call in Pung. Okay, so that is a Kong for us. So we're going to need a Joker now. We need to Pung the three and Kong the five. We got the flower, which is good. So now all we need are Jokers. And natural tiles would be better, actually. Okay, I'll let the eight go. Okay, we're good. Oh no, wrong suit. 
How about a seven crack? There's a seven crack up for grabs here. Oh, we need a keeper. Okay, we need a keeper. A six. Nobody wants the four or the nine. Okay, one dot is out too. Oh, I'm glad we got rid of that one. That's our pair. Another flower. That's going to be risky. That's our tile. Okay, let's see. I don't think there's anything we can do here. We're at 24 tiles left. We, our three is out here in Kong. Two dot. It was thrown. I think we need to fold. Joker. We have a risky tile, the flower. Okay, let's call. We have a flower though. I don't know if I would throw a flower. Oh. oh, we got lucky. Okay. Uh, we need a three crack to win and a joker, actually. Oh, they got it. We got ready, though. There's an addition, uh, no, multiplication win. 5735, mixed suits, third hand from the bottom under odds. They're playing across from us the same hand. And to our right, a year hand. Ooh, everyone was really close. All right, what do we have? Oh, we got winds this time, north and east. All right, so we have northeast paired, no flowers. We do have sevens and eights, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, northeast. All right, so let's let the flower, or not the flower, that's a dragon. Our predominant pattern is six, seven, eight, nine. There's a west. Okay, so let's whittle down. Let's let the six go here. Okay, now we got our, our multiple with the eight. Let's see, we have eights. We have news. I'm kind of wondering if we could maybe play news concealed with eights we have an extra east so one three nine can go okay now we don't need any of these tiles we need a we need a south Oh, there's an eight. All right, now we have an eight here. Let's see. Part of me is wondering if we could play a quint, but we have too many pairs. All right, so news, news concealed. News concealed, or we could maybe try news with eights. Either way, we really don't need these east and west. We need two, two eights. Let's pass fully. If we get a south, we might as well switch to the first hand under wins. Okay. So we have a couple of ways we could go here. We could do news concealed year, uh, wind hand, or we could do the like number news hand. We have a gap though, no south. So. 
we could also even try quint if the wind quint if we get more jokers a dragon no so nobody kept that eight wow look at the fours two discards before we have to really drill into this. No, I was hoping they would be taking some jokers out of, uh, for these tiles, but <gasps> there's our tile. Shoot. Okay, so there's two jokers up for grabs. Oh, darn. Okay, how about if we switch to east and west with eight and nine? We could do that, maybe. East and west with eight, nine. There's a seven now. That's not the right suit, though. We need to pong, but I would wait. Well, no, we have a hand with no gaps. Let's go ahead and let's expedite here. We're going to play east and west with eight, nine. It's already at 63 tiles. We need to pick a hand and move on if we want to win. So we're going to ignore. So what we, what we need in here is a nine dot. There's a joker. That'll help. So now I think we jumped up to front runner in like two picks. Fifty six tiles remaining. Nobody wanted the eight BM. We got the nine dot. Looking even better now. East and west with eight and nine Kongs. Third hand down on the right. That's really because the south was going down. Let's see here. One nine dot is out, no eight cracks. How many Norths are out? Somebody might be playing news because there's three Norths out, two, three Souths are out. We have the East and West. Somebody could be playing a news hand, like just single news. Little news is what I call it. Okay, one, one. They're playing like numbers with ones. So they need flowers. And of course the one crack. Oh, that's ours. We need to call that. So now we're ready on a double weight. We need an eight crack or a nine dot. Oh, exchange for Mahjong. Woohoo! We got Mahjong. East and West with eight and nine. The South was not coming in, so we switched to East West. We had a Kong, a nine dot, and a Joker. So the switch from the concealed hand to that offsuit Kong hand is a pretty easy switch because you're concealed. East and West with consecutive Kongs. That's your favorite hand, Marilyn. Okay, look, we have a widespread. Oh my gosh, this took a while. Here we go. So now we look for like numbers. We have sevens, we have fives and nines. Five, seven, nine, big odds. That's our category. You see how easy that is? You have a widespread, 
Look for like numbers and then pick your category that uses most of your tiles. Pretty easy process, really. We do have some 789, but we need to be able to pass in here. I think that we need to maximize our options and go with big odds. Okay, there's a nine, bam, our first multiple, five, seven, nine of some kind. Oops, let's see. We should maybe think about keeping that. So there's two dragon hands, five, seven, nine, five, seven, seven, nine dragon. We actually have a hand in here with no gaps right there. Five, seven, crack, seven, nine, bam, white dragon. We really don't need this dragon here with a nine, bam, pair. There were some good switches in here. Thank you, Wes. It's very situational, though, is the thing. You just never know. I mean, there, there are shapes and patterns that match at the beginning, like if you just look at the card. But it really depends on, well, during the Charleston, it's going to be impossible. But during the game, the pick and discard phase, it's much more about what is still available. And it's situational because tiles are being discarded and exposed. They're being used up. And even though it might look good on the card, because of what is visible on the table, it just may not be possible. So it's very difficult to... really demonstrate it because you never know what kind of switchability you're going to have. But in hindsight, we could always point to it for switchable hands. Anyway, we'll see. I think it's, there's just a lot of dependencies. Okay, so we have a lot of 579 in here. 579 dragon, 579, let's see here, 579 offsuit dragon, second hand from the bottom. We also have, let's see, five, seven, we have no threes, we have no ones, so clearly this is a big odd hand. Five, seven, nine, you know what, it'd be kind of nice to play that concealed hand. Let's let the dragon go. We could do five, seven, nine with sevens, but we have a pair of nines. Okay, we can keep going here. Seven crack. Okay, those we can pass. Nine, seven, four can go. All right, now we have to think this one through here. We've got five, seven, seven, nine, second hand down on the right. We also have some potential for the concealed hand. Five, seven, nine dot with sevens. We're passing to the right. We also have like numbers with sevens. Let's just pass one. Okay, let's ask for one. <laughs> All right, we have a discard here. So we're playing a big odd hand. Second hand down or the concealed hand. We have a pung of nine, so I think I would probably play that second hand down, but we'll see. Joker. Probably five, seven, seven, nine, pung, pung, kong, kong. And I don't think we can use the joker, or not the joker, the flower. We could play like numbers with sevens, though. So maybe this five and the nine can go. Oh, we're kind of in between five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, nine. That's not on the card this year. Five, seven, five, seven, nine. No, it's not. We're in between though. Five, seven, five, seven. A flower. Oh, we got a flower. Okay, five, seven, three, five. Five, seven, like numbers with sevens. 
I think I would switch to like numbers with sevens. Oh, this is a tough one because we have a pung of nines. But if you just count, we would have to throw away two pair to play five, seven, seven, nine. We would only have to throw away one pung and two singles to play like numbers with sevens. I think we're closer to like numbers with sevens than we are big odds. Hmm. Let's just wait to see what we get. If some, maybe someone will make an exposure with flowers and jokers. That would be nice. We don't need East. Like numbers with sevens. Another flower. Uh, yeah, I would totally switch. We're gonna play. We're gonna play like numbers with sevens to leverage the flowers. Okay, so, oh darn, I was hoping that would be with a joker. All right, let's let a nine go. Five, seven, five, seven, three, five, well, the fives are in a pung and we have no three. Oh, let's call. We could pung. The fives are out in a pung. Okay, we need a keeper in here. Where are the four, five, four band? I was thinking maybe we can do four, five, six, seven, seven. Four band, five band. There are two four bands out. Two three bands are out. There's a five though. Huh. We're kind of close to that quint again. There's only, let's see, there are two four bams out. But we could maybe we could maybe do this quint this quint hand. Joker. I think we should play the quint. We only have one discard if we play that quint hand. The chow hand. Let's let's quint. Okay, we're we're ready on a on a four band with that chow right there. Four, five, six, seven, seven. We might be able to do this pure. Oh darn! <laughs> Our child was in the wall. Look how close we got. Okay, we tried for that point hand again. Six, seven, eight, nine, Hong Kong. All right. Okay, so now we have pair five, pair west. All right, let's see if we can do a wind hand. So we can let the one go. Here's a six, seven. Maybe we can let the two go. East, west, news, five, six, seven. Okay, we have news. Here's a four and a four. Now, if we play news concealed or east and west with Kongs, we have a five crack. We don't need the seven. And we don't need the four. So now we're set up for east and west with Kongs 
or news with like numbers. There's an east. We have to make a choice in here. I think I would go with east and west with a Kong or all winds. We can keep going. There's our keeper. And we have, this is a little bit risky here. Five, five. Oh, you can't organize there. Okay, so here's four, five with news, east and west. That's a little bit risky there. Let's just put in a wind. Okay, now we can pass. No keepers. All right, so we have five discards in a hand with no gaps. We're an underdog because we have five discards. But we have a hand with no gaps. So let's see what happens. Ooh, there's some jokers up for grabs over there. Oh, there's joker bait now for us. Maybe we can get a joker out of these ones here. So there's a south. I guess we can keep that for a little while. Okay. Winds kind of came in. So, so. Oh, exchange, please. Thank you. Okay, we need to Kong the four or five. We could Pung the east and the west. We have two pair we don't need. North went down, so I think the south can go next. Seems nobody wants. There's a keeper. All right, we're looking really good. Our hand is set east and west with four or five. That feels like a really easy hand. It's a, it is a hand of least resistance. We're ready to pung. We'll take it. Uh, nobody wanted the one. Okay, we're. Oh. Quick. That is, I call that a gate pan. Kong's three, nine with sixes in the middle. We're one away from east and west with Kongs. Everybody was looking really good, though. Two discards, one disc, let's see, one, two, three, dragon, one discard gap hand over there, though. All right, let's see what we have now. Widespread, we have a widespread. So we look for like numbers. Threes, we have threes and we have fives. With threes and fives, but no ones. Hmm, well, that speaks to little odds right there, but we need we need a backup. Two, three, four, five. Let's see. We might be able to do wins if they come in. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got the four and a three. Two, three, four, five. Here's a north. Okay, seven can go. We have two, three, four, five. I would probably break up the wins, but I don't think I would pass two together. We have three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Maybe this three bam can go. Okay, here's Northwest News right there. One, nine can go. We have three, four, five, two, three. Five, I would not pass one nine with a five. We have three, four, five. Let's let the west go. Okay, so now we have north. Here's a one, three. Here's a dragon. All right, so now we have one, two, three in dots, a five bam, three, four, five in cracks, a red dragon. We have north and south, north paired up, north and south. No multiples, though, with number tiles. So 
We have like numbers with threes and fives. I think I would let the dragon go and keep the wind and focus on like numbers or three, four, five. We need three times to pass the dragon. If we're doing three, four, five or like numbers with threes and fives, the one and the two can go. Okay, there's an east. We have two tiles we don't need here for sure. If we do news concealed, we need like numbers so the four can go. Okay, we got a dragon. No keepers here. Okay, there's a west and a north. Okay, so now we have north, east, west, south. And then like numbers with threes. With a pung of norths, we could maybe play that fourth hand down. We'd have to throw away a north. I think I would just ask for one tile. The light is fading. Let me turn on this light. Okay. Let's see what we get. Seven. Ugh. Okay, we're going to be an underdog on this, but we do have a hand with no gaps. News concealed, wind hand. There's our multiple, so now the fives can go. So that means we have four discards and a hand with no gaps. So we're a contender. News with threes. We might as well keep that too, because we could maybe switch to north and south with two, three. <gasps> Joker. Okay, this is looking really good. I think we just bumped up to front runner. A three bam. That would be an option. Another joker. Okay, we're concealed. Oh. Darn it. Okay, there we go. So we're we're on a double weight here. Three dot or three band. I think there's one three dot out. 72 tiles remaining. We're ready on a triple weight. We can win on a south, a three dot or a three band or a joker. There's one available with the green dragon over there. No, single for us. We need threes. No, that's a pun for us. Thankfully, nobody needs north, therefore the south. South shouldn't be far away here. There it is. I didn't need to do that. Mahjong. Woohoo! We got news. Yeah, it does. Okay, news. News with like numbers. That was a nice little switch that they did from last year. All right, let's play again. Hopefully we can squeeze in two more. Two more games. All right, we have two pair, ones and nines. Ones and nines. Ones and nines. Uh, there's really only one way to use one suit, ones and nines. 
that would be that would be with the first odd hand but we have no three seven again that's kind of not good you know what i would do here i would play one through five because one nine is not good one nine without the tiles to go with it i think i would break up the nine and focus on one through five consecutive run okay so there's a five or we can maybe play little odds one three five five seven nine it's looking a little bit better for odds one three five five seven nine pair hand i mean it's a bit a bit gappy at the moment let's see here we have a six and a nine over there we can let the two go i guess second quint oh i already gave up the north and we only have one joker i usually think about quints if i have a big multiple and we don't we have pairs those are our little multiples okay now here we're getting twos okay we're gonna let the nine go let's see i think i would keep let's see we have one two four five one two five eight nine there let's let the three go there's a two and a six. Here's a three. So we have one through six. That's way big of a span. So if we leverage the one, two, we're kind of playing a gap hand again. Three bam we need. Let's let this one crack go. Actually, let's see here. We have one, two, four. Let's do, oh, no. Mm, ah, eh. Let's do the two. Because then we're left with a 1-3. Okay, north. Let's see here. North and south. North and south. Let's do 1-3. No keepers. I was thinking maybe we can do that gate hand. 1-2-3, north and south. But we have no 3. 3 Okay, I guess we can maybe now. I would rather pass fully. Okay, here we go. We need a three bam. Oh, all right. So we have five discards, well, really six. So we're going to be an underdog on this one. We have a, a gap hand. One, two, one, one through five. Let's just see what happens. Oh, that's our tile. We need a pair, though. Okay. Now, there's a flower. So we have one, two, four, five, flower. I would just reassess this completely here. Oh, pass. Let's see here. Pair of flowers. We definitely don't need the winds. One, two, four, five, flower. Those don't go together at the moment. But we can, we can try to make something out of this. Let's see. Oh, we definitely don't need an eight. All right, let's see. With flowers, what if we play the first quint? We could maybe try the first quint. We've got a pair, pair of flowers and a pair of twos. All right, well, let's just gather. We might be able to try a quint, Marilyn. Um, no. Oh, that's our tile. Oh. No. Okay, now I wish they had that gate hand elsewhere. Like one, two, three, one, let's see, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, one, five with, no, 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 it was Kong's one, three with twos in the middle or something like that. 
I wish we could do that. It's not on the card, though. Too bad. Usually they have it in consecutive run if it's in 369, but not this year. No. There, look. This is this is awesome. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We're going to play that gap hand. <laughs> okay. So here we go. We we need a pair of fours. That's our only weakness. We if a 3 bam goes down, we'll calm. We could pung the 1 and the 5. There's the four. Now we have no weakness. Even though we have a gap, we'll call. We need to pung. Pung, pair, kong, pair, pung. So we're a front runner. That's a pair for us. All right. We're we're ready to win on a three bam. We got that five. So ready to win on a three bam. One is out. Where is it? Right here. That was in the first couple rounds, uh, first round of discards. We need a three bam. Or a joker. A two dot would do it, or two crack. There's a two crack here. There it is. Mahjong. Woohoo! We got it. One through five. Pung, pear, pong, pear, pung. Oh, okay. Let's squeeze in one more. One more. That's a W hand. Oh, a W. That's what you meant. I call that a castle hand. Okay. Uh, we have another widespread. So we look for like numbers. We have twos, threes, twos and threes. Twos and threes. Two, three, two, three. West can go. Dragon can go. We have sevens and eights. Twos, threes, sevens, and eights. Let's let the five go. We're in between. Okay, we got a seven. Now we reassess. So seven, seven, eight, nine. We're playing seven, eight, nine, leveraging the multiple seven crack. We might be able to do five, six, seven, eight, but here we're left with like numbers. We don't want to pass those. Let's let the five go since it's isolated. Okay, now there's an eight. We have tiles we can pass. Let's see, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, eight east. There's a nine. Now, two, three, five. That, that's going to be really risky. We can give up that east. We have seven, eight, nine. We have an eight and a seven. Seven, eight, nine, seven, nine here. Maybe we can, oh, no, no, we have seven crack, eight bam, two pair consecutive tiles. Let's let the, let's see here, five dot go. Let's see, seven, eight, there's a seven, six, seven, eight, three, four, nine can go. So we have seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, and a seven. I'm kind of hoping we can make the fourth hand down work. Fourth hand down, double run, double run, fourth hand down. No keepers. Okay, we have a five, four. We definitely can pass tiles here. All right, we have five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. There's an eight. 
All right, 789, 789. Fourth hand down. Pair, no, single pair Kong. Single pair Kong, single pair Kong. 678 would be better. Single pair Kong, single pair Kong. So it would be really nice to get a six crack. I don't think it went around in the Charleston. So what we need is a six crack. Six crack, seven, eight, seven, eight. All right, let's see. Seven, eight, it'd be, if maybe we can get a nine dot. Is that going around? Did I give up a nine dot? I might have, but it didn't really come to me that we could play the concealed hand. We'll see if we can get a nine. A nine dot, yeah, we don't want to call anything. Nine bam. So we have seven, eight, nine, fourth hand down, no gaps, but we have an extra seven and an extra eight. Nine crack. Seven, eight, nine. What about, oh, what about the, what about the pair hand? Nine, eight, seven, nine, eight. We have no dots. Eight. All right, now what do we do? Let's see. We have a seven, eight, nine in cracks, seven, eight, nine in bams. We have an extra six. Eight, nine, eight, bam, Kong. Six, seven, eight, single pair Kong. Six crack. Six crack, seven, eight, Kong. I think six, seven, eight would be best because then we can leverage the Kong. We need a six crack. Okay, that would be a pair for us probably. Oh, that's our tile. Be ideal to get a six crack. We got a six dot. Shoot. Oh, that would have been a nice top for us too. Nine dot, we could maybe switch to that seven, eight, seven, eight, nine dot pair. We could still maybe do it. Okay, we need to commit. Single pair Kong. We're going to try for single pair Kong. With BAM, six, seven, eight, we need a six crack. That is a vulnerability big time. We're ready to Kong that eight. We need a pair of seven BAMs. Oh, that's it. Oh, a joker. Okay, at least we can do it stealth mode. Okay, what we need in here is a seven bam or a six crack. We're gonna ignore it. We're just gonna stay stealth mode. Because we, we're vulnerable. That's what we need right there. So that's the second one out. If we get a nine dot, there it is. We switch to the concealed hand now. So we have seven, eight, seven, eight. We have an extra eight. We might be able to swing it if we play the concealed hand. Unless we, oh, shoot. All right. So that, let's see here. That fourth hand down and the concealed hand are, are very close together. 
in in the patterns so you may be able to switch with those two hands depending on what happens but we we came a long way there let's try to squeeze in one more okay we have a wide spread again we have like numbers with ones sixes and sevens so sixes and sevens is better than one so we're going to do five six seven four five six seven of some kind so one let's see here one two nine can go all right there's an eight one two three that's a little bit risky right there we have five six seven eight four six there is some potential in here for evens two four six eight we have a one three up there let's see here let's let the five go okay here's a three and a four we have two four six eight or the sevens two four four six we don't have the right eight let's let the eight go okay so one two three two four six eight okay so now let's see the one is useless we have two four six in bams two four in cracks four six no eight so we don't need a two four six eight we have mostly two three four let's let the seven go okay here's a three and a one we got little numbers building here let's see we can let the six go so we have one one through four primarily here it'd be kind of nice to get oh now here's a six and an eight so here we have east with a nine the one maybe can go two four we have some two four six eight in here let's see maybe the three can go instead okay four crack huh our first multiple oh my goodness okay two four we have no eight though one two three four four there's our hand right there one two three no gaps ciao with fours maybe keep the evens we can pass three okay so we have one two three four four or maybe a little bit of two four six eight so let's let the four dot go okay no keepers there we have six discards so we're an underdog on this one we are an underdog let's see let's let the seven go here's five six one, two, three, four, five, six. Nine, nine, four. Nine. Now there's another multiple here. Six, seven, four, crack, seven. If we get a five, crack. Okay, now here's two, three, four. Let's just hold that. All right, we have one through seven. That's way too broad of a range, way too big. So really the sevens can go probably. Although, what about an addition hand? Three, four, seven, seven, three, four, seven. Addition? Three, it would need to be, no, it's all in one suit. Never mind. Four dot. All right, let's let the let's see. That could be Joker bait though. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Let's let the six go. Okay, five, bam. Whoa, oh, Joker change. So we have one, two, three, four in dots, two, three, four in cracks, and a four bam. I'm thinking one, two, three, four, four, but we could do two, three, four, fourth hand down. We're in between the fourth hand down and the second, uh, the, let's see, sixth hand down. A flower. 
Okay, flower. I'm thinking one, the chow hand here. Chow hand. That's the first one, so let's wait. We need the pung fours. There's the four. Now we can use these for our quint. We're good to go. We jumped up right now here to front runner. Let's see here. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, pung, pung, kong, kong. Everybody's playing to win. Oh, okay, we need to pung our fours and quint the flowers. That quint of flowers is going to be super risky. Oh, three crack. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, we need a pun. Four dot. Four daughters right there. Nine bam. I don't nobody wants that, I don't think. Oh shoot. Oh, we got very close. All right, I think that is good, though, for this live stream for two minutes to the top of the hour. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you found it helpful. Basically, when you get a widespread, no multiples, look for like numbers. That can give you a clue into your predominant pattern. Identify your predominant pattern. Keep as many tiles as you can. When a multiple forms, reassess. Target the multiple. Gather tiles to support it and play a category that uses most of your tiles. That's the key. Gather till you run out of discards, then pick a hand. You don't have to pick a hand when you have discards, unless you get to that point in the Charleston when you have risky tiles. You might need to whittle down a little bit your options, but you really don't have to pick a hand until maybe, let's say, 80 tiles remaining, 70 tiles remaining. You have time to gather. You're welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. We'll be back again at 4 p.m. Eastern time for the Nitty Gritty Prime Time Let's Play live stream. And the topic is going to be weight patterns, which I did briefly mention during this live stream. So if you are it. A beginner, you're welcome to come. It might feel a little bit overwhelming, but if you're an intermediate player on a fast track or if you are an experienced player, join us. You're going to like it. I think it's good, good. It's a good approach with the game. It's a good way to set your mind up, set yourself up for success. It's going to help you manage your expectations and also consider risks and whether or not you can take a risk or whether you need to pull back and play defensively. So I hope that you join us. If you can't make it, you can watch the repost. All these live streams are recorded and reposted shortly after they end. So you can always catch the repost, but I'd love it if you could be here live because then we can chit chat through the live chat. Please share about this channel with your friends so that we can grow the community and everybody can learn together. The happier we are at the table, the more fun we'll all have. Does anybody have any questions? If not, I'll go ahead and sign off. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.